Hey, I'm Captain Clark from Firehouse 29. Today we've got a union training short video. I'm going to show what's in my pockets, and hopefully you guys can go out when you're on time out or working with your crew. You guys can talk about what's in your pockets and share your ideas. So quickly what I carry in my pants pocket. On the left side, I carry a piece of webbing. I keep it tied up so it's easy to store. It's got a carabiner on the side. It's just a multifunction. Sometimes I tie a hose, sometimes I'm dragging five inch or a gated wide to a stairwell. <clears throat> I keep a good set of pliers. This is a, a multi-tool as well. It's got a spanner and then a cheap knife. So this is just a dollar or two knife. This is a pry bar or a screwdriver. It's just a throwaway knife that I can break and just replace easily. Normally in the morning, I have my fire gloves set up uh, ready to go for fire calls. But if we get dispatched to a traffic accident, I always swap my gloves. Uh, they're just quick disconnects there and I have another one for my extrication gloves. So all my extrication gloves, I keep a razor blade. This is to cut, uh, it could be seat belts, but typically we're cutting airbags to get patient access. And then I keep a window punch and a seat belt cutter that easily uh, d detaches. This easily hangs on my coat. I'm ready to go for all vehicle accidents. Uh, in my right pocket, I carry a non-contact non volt tester. Uh, you have to know how to use this, but if you know how to use this, this can be a very helpful tool. I keep a secondary window punch. This is just a spring-loaded one. In my left pocket, uh, these are my fire alarm keys. I keep a short shove knife in my pocket. Uh, the longer ones are nice, but this is easy for when I'm just walking in the building and I wasn't expecting to need a shove knife. Uh, I have a lot of keys, but the ones you really need uh, are common to your local. You probably need a simplex B, a silent night key. You need to learn what keys you need. But every firefighter should have a um, elevator key. Uh, you should be able to operate elevators in phase two and you're gonna need one of these keys. Every firefighter should have that. And then I keep an aluminum wedge. This is just a secondary one. We have one with the irons. This may just be to chalk a door for a fan or a security door that we need to keep open, um, but it, it's also good for forcing doors and it's easy to have in your pocket ready to go. And finally in my top radio pocket, there's no radio ever in here. Um, I keep my cutters here. They're on a piece of webbing, so they're easy to pull out. Keep them um, nice and lubed. A lot of times they sit in these pockets and they get wet in a fire, so you need to make sure these, these tools are ready to go. And then lastly, I keep a down firefighter strap. This is just a short strap that I use to convert firefighters. Next month, the union's going to put a video out on what this is and how to use it, but many companies are already carrying this in their rib bag, and a few people will keep it uh, on their person too. And that's all I got. That's everything in my pockets. I hope that you get out in your firehouse and you share the word and we can all learn from each other.